Hi everyone, a uh, long time no see, but I'm back. Um, sorry I was gone for so long. I've not posted in a while. <laughs> um, I just had to take a little step back um, without going into too much detail. And see how stuff happens. <laughs> uh, woo! <laughs> But I'm excited to be back and I hope you are too. I've got lots of fun things planned. Um, today we are going to be sitting down and playing with makeup. And that is my favourite thing to do. And that is why I started drag. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's very much what I would like to dedicate this channel to. Is just having fun with makeup and with you guys. And thank you for being so patient. But yeah, we're back and I'm here to stay. Thank you, promise. Mm. <laughs> I've also got new nails. And I've gone red for the first time in my life and I've always wanted to go red. But I was always too scared to go red. But in 2023, we're doing things that we're scared to do and not being scared of them. So, red nails. <laughs> I think that's everything. Um, I don't think I've missed anything out. So. Yeah, let's put some makeup on. Okay, I am ready to go. Got my face tapes on, I'm shaved, and yeah. So I'm just gonna start off with, I think I'm gonna use the Cosmetic Paints by P. Louise, and this is in and it's just like a nice little soft pink paint. <laughs> I'm just going to dot that all the way around to my forehead. Okay, now I don't really know what to do because the design that I did of this look has orange. And I've not really put orange and pink together before. Should I have done that in pink? I feel like I should have done that in pink. Um, I can need to get a palette. One second. <clears throat> oh. oh no. Oh, that is very bad. <gasps> Sorry, I just dropped a palette behind the radiator. I really feel like I've made this too pink. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, I think it's working. So I'm basically just gonna do that all over my forehead. Oh, oh by the way, I'm using the Sugar Pill 10th Anniversary palette. And I've completely finished my favorite color, but today we're using this one, and that is Lacy. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. So now I need to map out my eye, which is an eye I've not done before. So we'll see how that goes. And remember, do your hardest side first, because it's easier to make the easy side look like the hard side. I've just defined my crease a bit more, just with the same orange shade. So we're just going to define this crease a bit more, and just really drag it out all the way up that way so now this is the part that's a little bit dangerous I'm just gonna put the base by P. Louise but in this red color I'm a bit nervous because it's a very strong color and it might ruin everything but we'll see I'm happy with that there we go and then we're just going to go over that, what we've literally just done, but with the with powder. Dur, dur, dur. And I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. It doesn't look that big, but it's big. 
Um, and then I'm going to use the Croylan. It doesn't have a label, but it's just this blush palette from Croylan. And that's what we're going to use as a powder. I'll go with that one. Peace, well. Wow. Going in with like to get like a really airbrushed blend. Um, if you do whatever color you're doing, if you go in with like the cream version first, and then put the same color powder over, like creams blend with creams, and then you basically set it and intensify that pigment with the powder version. And it, I mean, <laughs> like it just goes so smoothly and beautifully. I remember when I first started with makeup um, and I would put my foundation on and then I would set it and then I would put my eyeshadow base on which was white and then I would set it with white and then just spend hours and hours and hours blending powder onto powder that wasn't very pigmented because of that and then one day I didn't set it and my whole life changed and my getting ready time shortened. <laughs> Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is another scary part. This is just a scary look. Everything I'm doing today is scary, but whatever. So now I'm gonna go in with some black. So now I'm just gonna just do the wing, which is just black. Um, and I'm gonna take Bulletproof by Sugar Pill, that one. And just pop that in there. There we go, that is, I'm pretty happy with that. That's nice and blended, and I look crazy, but there is method to my madness. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the crease. Um, so I'm just gonna put my stencils on, because I've got little stars. I'm just gonna redo those again, because I did them too early, and then everything got blended. So, beep, 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 beep. There we are. And the next one. There we go. That'll do. I'm happy with that. And then we're going to cut the crease and just fill all of that in with some white. And this is again what I always use um, the Peelwee's base in the white. It's just the white one. They don't have nails. Um, I love how this is going. I'm so happy. This looks amazing. This looks so cool. <laughs> oh, I just love playing with makeup. It is so good. And it, when it works out good, it's just, ah, it's the best. I'm so happy. What do I have to do next? This is a tricky part because I've never done a shape like this and it's very specific and normally I would just slap powder, a white shadow, on this to set it, but now like that's so particular. And I'm like, Ugh. I know, I know, I know. I've got to do black first. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So we're just gonna go back into the crease again, um, and just bring it down. Now that we've got the white there, I don't know how to put that in proper terms, but that's what you're gonna get. <laughs> so let's just do this. And this is like a loose, it's a really loose, fluffy brush, blending brush. Today is a good makeup day and I'm happy about it. Everything is working out fine. Now I'm just gonna set the white um, with Sugar Pill again in Taco, which is my favorite. And it's just the perfect combo. Peel Louise and Sugar Peel. Now I'm just taking a flat packing brush 
and just pop it on. So that's all nice and white. So now we're just going to outline the crease uh, with some liner and I'm going to use the Suva Beauty, it's got tape on it so that's some drag race, um, but it's the Suva Beauty Water Activated Eyeliner. Um, I really like this liner because you can get it to whatever consistency you want to, because it's water activated, so you can add as much or as little as you like. And I just think it's perfect. So I'm just gonna take a nice thin little brush and just outline these stars. Just make them pop a little bit more. Okie dokie, so everything has been outlined and I just now I've got to do my face. Oh, my face is like the base. So I'm going to paint bottom half white. I need to decide what I want to use for that. Normally I use the white P. Louise base. No, paint, not base, the paint. But it runs out really quickly and they're never in stock. But it works really well. The other option is this super colour by Kryolan, but I hate it. It's just like really, it makes my face really warm and it's really oily and it takes a lot of setting powder to set it. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to use P. Louise paint because it's just amazing. So I'm just going to pop that all over. Do, 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 do. There we go, uh, we're all white. Perfect. So I'm just gonna take that same colour in the Cryoline palette that we used over there, which is that one. Do, 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 do. And we're gonna use that for contour slash blush. So I had to redo my whole face again, um, whether you noticed that or not. Um, basically last night my camera died, the battery, and I thought I was put on to charge and I'll just go chill in my bed and wait for it to charge a little bit and I fell asleep. Um, and then I woke up in the morning and everything was all smudged and yeah, so I've had to do this all again. Um, so that's why it might look a little slightly different. <coughs> But so to pick off where we last left off, I've set the white with uh, the Huda Beauty um, Sugar Cookie Easy Bake setting powder. And then I've just put some like black lines with black liner and black eyeshadow. The same products that I use for that. It's the Super Beauty Water Activated Eyeliner and then just some, some black eyeshadow. So now, um, what I've got to do is put on my lipstick, my lashes, I've got to do a little bit of liner on the inner corner, paint my body, put the wig on, and then we're done. So I'm just gonna go back in with the Super Beauty liner, just line underneath my eye. Oh, it looks so good, I love it. <coughs> right, let me line my lips. So I'm just gonna take any, I just like to use an eyebrow pencil just to outline everything. So you can use whatever you want. <coughs> Blip, 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 blip. 
<coughs> okay, so for this step, um, I need my Meron, how do you pronounce it? Meron Paradise paint. So they're also like water activated, just like the eyeliner. So, yeah. You can just kind of do whatever you want with them. So I'm going to be, I'm using the white and the black. And we're just going to do some strappy stripes on my body. That's all done. It looks so good. I'm going to pop on my lips and my lashes and my wig. And then I think that's the finished look. So I'll just be one moment. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this turned out. This looks so cool. Um, so yeah, that's the finished look. And I've got this beautiful wig. Uh, by Marco's Wigs on Instagram. He's amazing and he never disappoints. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I've just popped on my Miss Fame The Other Woman lipstick. Uh, it's one of my, my favourite red shade to wear. Um, and yeah, this is the finished look. So I had so much fun. Um, I love just sitting down and just playing with makeup and like there's so many directions you can go in and like look at this this looks so cool oh my gosh I love it um so yeah thank you for everybody who if you made it to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it I had lots of fun doing it whether my face said that or not <laughs> so yeah that's that if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you'd like. Let me know what you thought of this look. Um, if there was anything, any products that you've never heard of or that you um, are very really interested in. Um, I'd love to hear more about that. That's the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.